Hello guys, good evening. I'm so sorry for this long delay. Um, I had a problem with my internet and I just fixed it like a minute ago. So before we start the class, I would like to ask you, can you hear me clearly? Yes. All right, just, just today I don't have my earphones, so I'm just talking and I, I was wondering if you were able to hear me, but if there's no problem, so uh, we're going to start with the class. Once again, I'm so sorry for this delay. It's been like, like two minutes, and I'm so sorry about that, but you know, sometimes the internet doesn't want to work that well. So um, I hope you're doing great. I hope that you had a great day, and we are here to, well, to start a new class something new that we're going to learn today. Welcome once again to the people that is always on time because most of the time I am, I connected like two or three minutes before eight. And I see, all, I always see some people I connect on time. So welcome once again, and we're going to start right now with the exercises that we left yesterday. So do you remember that we were, uh, we're checking some documents. So let me see. What do you remember about yesterday class, guys? Can someone tell me? What did we see yesterday in the class? Some. Some? In which case do we Honey? see some? Uh, plurals. Plurals, all right. What else? An affirmative sentence. Affirmative sentences, very good. All right, so let me see. Uh, we left, I'm guessing, let me see the last one. Well, actually two exercises, right? We just did one, but it was the first one. So we're still missing number two and number three. So let me see. I'm going to share the screen with you right now. Oh, can you see it? Mm. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Uh, all right, so I will need some people to to help me to participate. I would say some volunteers. I won't say any volunteer that would like to help me with this. Um, two. Me. Who is there? Kelly. Three. Me too. So um, number two, Mario. Number two. Okay. There isn't a golf course. Can you repeat it again? I just connected the earphones. So. Hola, me escuchan? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sí. Okay. Uh, there isn't a golf course. Actually, there. And the number two is there are some tennis courts. Oh, court. sorry. <laughs> there, are. there there are tennis courts. Thank you so much for that help. Hola. So number three. Teacher. Hola. Hello. Hello. No se le escucha, teacher. Can you hear me now? Poquito. Super no. suave. Nada. I think that earphones don't want to work. Okay. Hear me clear now? Oh, I see. 
Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. So number three, guys. Number number two, uh, there are tennis courts. There are tennis courts. Okay, very good. Number three. Okay. There isn't a golf course. Very good. There isn't a golf course. Number four, any other volunteer? Teacher, en la dos. Yo, mm -hmm. bueno, según el ejemplo, yo entendí que eh, poníamos, eh, según el ejemplo, dice que hay, alguien, hay un nadador en la piscina, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. En mm -hmm. la dos, como no hay nada. Yo en la dos, en la dos no es una para cancha. Para no, es un, es un, eh, tenis, lo hice una raqueta de tenis. Exactly. Y tiene right. un chequecito como que si sí existe o exactly. en las que tienen crucitas es que es un negativo. That's right. That was the key. Esa era la, la clave, the key. Like a little check that means that it was positive, but the ones that had the letter L or the, the X sign, that means that they were negatives. So that, that was the main key. So in that case, because we have tennis courts, Tennis, aunque tiene la S, but that's specific. Ese es el nombre específico del deporte, con S. Pero el otro sustantivo, Kurtz, está en plural. So that plural. we need to use yeah. there are tennis are. courts. Or there are some tennis courts. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Ah, there are some tennis courts. Some tennis courts, or you can just say there are tennis courts. Both answers are correct. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pueden uh, repetir la tres, please. There isn't a golf course. There isn't a golf course. Very good. Who was going to help me with number four? There isn't a disco. There isn't a disco. Very good. A disco. Five. There aren't a shop. There aren't shops. There's in that case, they're still missing something. They're still missing a little word that you're still missing there. There aren't any shops. Exactly. There aren't any shops. Very good. So number six. There is a bar. There is a bar. Very good. Bar. Number seven. Okay, let me see. There is a coffee. There. No. That, that's actually the last one. There is a. There is a restaurant. There is a restaurant, but also what oh, it was wrong. Or there is a some restaurant. No. Why we can use some with there is? Alguien recuerda por qué no podemos utilizar some with there is? Because uh, it's not plural. It's singular. Some, solo lo íbamos a utilizar for plural. Podríamos decir que some es el plural de a and and. All right. So number seven. It was right. B, there is a restaurant. Okay. And the last one. There is a coffee. There cafe. is a cafe, okay? A cafe, yeah. like that, okay, very good. I see that you have been working. That's really cool though. Now let me see in this one. At 12 o'clock, we had, we had at Fuk.
repeat it again. Oh my God, what just happened here? Repeat it again, repeat what you said. At 12 the clock, we had eight foot. Now remember that I, that I told you yesterday that in this part, we were only going to use any song. At 12 o'clock, we had some. So, in the case that will be at 12 o'clock, we had some. That will be the answer, some. So, let me see number two. Now I'm going to say a name because I see the other ones do not participate. The people that is all did, participating are just Mario, Eric, and Kelia. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did Tell you me. bring any bread? bread? Did you bring any bread? Very good. Number three. I'd like some water, please. I'd like some water, please. Very good. So let me see, Beatriz Inocente, can you help me with the next one? Did, did not you bring any money? Very good. Didn't you bring any money? So let me, thank you, Beatriz. Let me ask Roxana Lopez, the next one. Hello. I asked um, the water for some tea. For some tea, very good. So I asked some, I asked, sorry, the waiter for some tea, very good. Let me see, uh, Angelica, the next one. I bought some books, but I didn't buy any pen. Okay, I bought some books, but I didn't buy any. Any pen. Okay, that's very good. The next one, let me see Rosa Amaya. I have uh, information for you. Okay, now in this case it will be, I have some information for you. Thank you. Okay, let me see Lisette, Catherine, Catherine Ramirez. I sent her some car from France. I sent her some card, is that is that possible to use some here? Teacher, ahí no sería, I sent her a car from France. Esta, esta de acá era una, eh, como una prueba para ver si ustedes podían diferenciar siguiendo aquí arriba, que solo estamos, that we were only using, um, we were only using some and any, and that's a very good observation. In this case, I sent her a card from friends. Who said that? What's your name? What's your name? ¿Quién fue la que vio esa observación? Who was that person? I What's your name? Lisette Castillo. Okay, very good, Lisette. That's a very good observation, okay? So, okay. The, um, let me see someone else. Hazel. Hazel. 
Can you please help me with the next one? ¿Cuál es? Perdón, me, no, no, no vi cuál era. This one, what I'm pointing. This one right here. Can you see it? Yes. All right, cool. I want a bread and a kilo of cheese, please. Is that right? Is it right, guys? The other ones. Está correcto. Guys, the other ones, los otros, is that correct? Um, I think um, that I want some bread and some kilo of cheese, please. I want some bread and... Está bien si uso some ahí? Ah, tendría que ser. I want some bread and a kilo of cheese. All right, so the last ones. Repeat, please. I want some bread and a kilo, a kilo of cheese. Thank you. Okay, the next one, any volunteer? Volunteer, guys. I got some bananas and an apple. All right, I got some bananas and an apple. Okay, very good. The next one, any volunteer? I have a bus. For you. Repeat it again. I have a bad news for you. In that case, in that case, is going to be this is Pluto. So here we have to say I have some bad news for you because this is Pluto. So the next one, let me ask, let me see, uh, uh, Mr. Eric, can you help me with the next one? The interference was that someone of your classmates had the television connected and it has their microphone on and we were listening to the, to the TV. She didn't give me any money. She didn't give me any money, very good. So Rosa Maya, can you help me with the next one? Uh, so, sorry, I haven't got a, a matches. No, that's not right. What is the uh, answer over there? Remember, I, I, this is this is negative. Any, any, so, um, any, any match. Any. Sorry, any. I haven't got any matches. Okay. Any matches. Good. So then the last two. Any volunteer? There aren't any students here at the moment. At the moment. There aren't any students here at the moment. Very good. And the last one. Me. Go ahead. Would you, would you like some coffee? Very good. Would you like some coffee? So, guys, this is it for the A and some in any class that it was yesterday. Thank you so much for the people that is working on the exercises because I can check who is working and who is not. Why? Because when I ask you, if you answer immediately, that means that you have done the exercises. But if you're still doubting, like, 
what do I say? What do I say? That means that you are just guessing the answer. So today's class is going to be about vocabulary. Today we're going to learn about jobs and occupations vocabulary. So I know that you probably know some uh, jobs or some occupations that we have in, in English. And today, it, this is going to be kind of a review, okay? So we're going to start. We have four here. We have a teacher. So uh, let me ask you, ¿Cómo decimos camisa? How do we make the difference between camisa y maestro? And someone to make the pronunciation so I can listen to the difference. Teacher, the shirt. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. Say the shirt. Es que es como que se hace una pausa por el guión. Teacher. Y el teacher. 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 Al final la T se hmm? tiene que escuchar en t-shirt. Ah, ok. The teacher. Very, very good observation. So it's t-shirt and teacher. Ok. okay? T-shirt and teacher. That's, that's the difference that we have. So, the first part we have uh, here, we have teacher. Here we have an accountant, accountant. We have a painter. We have a detective. Teacher, accountant, painter, and detective. Let's move on. We have a hairdresser, hairdresser. If at any point, si en algún punto, you don't know the meaning of something, no conocen el significado, let me know so I can help you out to, to understand. Okay. So, but I think with the picture is more clear, right? It gives you an idea of what we are trying yes. to Yes, yes. Right, so we have hairdresser, we have a plumber, we have a postman, we have a judge. Judge. I will repeat it again. Hairdresser, plumber, postman, and judge. So let's move on. So we have, yes? What mean hairdresser? Hairdresser, that's uh, like, like. Uh, como barbero. Exactly, like that, like hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Es como barbero o, yeah, the same thing, barbero. O, Thank you. Or, uh, peluquero. Peluquero, exactly. That's the word that I was looking for. Barbero or peluquero, okay. that's mm -hmm. the same thing. All right. So let's move on. Y yes. accountant. Accountant, accountant, contador, contador, exactly. Oh, gracias. All right. So let's move on. We have here a carpenter, carpenter. We have a taxi driver. We have a dentist and we have the tailor. Dentist and tailor. Carpenter, taxi driver, dentist, and tailor. So we have here a fireman, we have a doctor, we have an acrobat, gardener, once again, fireman, doctor, acrobat, gardener. Move on. All right, here we have pilot, photographer, professor, and policeman. So let me clarify this right here. The professor is someone that teaches at the university. Like when you go to the university, we do not call them teacher. Los teacher, some people that teaches basic, like at a school, 
But when you say professor, it is people that teach us, but at a university. Do you understand the difference? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. So let's move on. We have a chef. We have an astronaut. Pianist. And we have a priest. I will repeat again. Chef. Astronaut. Pianist and priest. So let's move on. Butcher, lumberjack. Yes? What do you say priest in Spanish? Priest is como un, digamos, un pastor. Predicador. O pre, pre, Eso, predicador. Cura. Mm. Pastor. No. Pastor. No. Pastor. El pastor. Como más general. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to clarify that. So this is, well, I, I don't even know, like in the Catholic way, how do you call these people like, like him? Like it's kind of, for me, it's kind of como un pastor. He's not actually a pastor because Pastor, we said it a pastor, but priest is like um, ministro. Some the well, I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Oh, that would be like that would be the closest one, like that. Que los católicos dicen el padre. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sacerdote. Oh, so that will be it. Un sacerdote. We're going to take it like that. That's the closest meaning that we have when it comes to Spanish. Okay. Sacerdote. All right. So. Thank you. Let's move on. And we have here the butcher. Butcher, uh, lumberjack, lawyer, and astronomist. Teacher, lumberjack sería mm -hmm. como un leñador, algo así. Exactly, like that. Thank you. Brick lawyer. The chair, and the chair yes. repeat, repeat brick, uh, brick. Bricklayer. 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 That's okay. uh, es un albañil. Astronomist. And let's. Here we have a hunter. Hunter. Fisherman. Football player. And a monk. Monk. Este es un monje. Monje. Hunter, fisherman, football player, and monk. So let's move on. So here we have just like uh, another ones that are not that common, or some of them are common, like nurse, like a baker, que es un panadero, the vet. Most of the time, Americans, they don't say veterinary, they don't say, they don't use the full word. Ellos no utilizan la palabra completa. They, they will always say vet. That will be kind of the contraction um, to the veterinary. So it's better if you use vet or if you want to say veterinary, it's up to you. Both of them are correct. But American people, they will always love use the word vet. Teacher. Yes. Estas son las, la, la, como le digo, estamos viendo anteriormente serían las ocupaciones y estas las profesiones. No, they are mixed. They are mixed. Here, as you can see, we have mixed. Because, for example, a teacher, that is like a job. Accountant, that is a job. An occupation, it will be something like a plumber, 
like a taxi driver, like a tailor, that will be occupation. So they are mixed. Están mezcladas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Taylor sería Taylor, como costurera. Exactly. That's the meaning of that. Mm -hmm. How so, do you say, teacher? Mm -hmm. How do you say, este, al hombre se le dice, cuando es costurero, no es costurero. Sastre. Sastre. Ajá. ¿Cómo se oh. le diría? This one, this one, this word, it doesn't have, uh, no tiene un, no tiene un género. So in English, we are going to uh, a tailor that will be. Uh, in general. That, that will, this word, it doesn't have a gender. So what is going to give you the idea that if you're talking about a male or a female, it is the personal pronoun. Because you are going to say, she is a tailor. So automatically, you know that she, I mean, automatically is a, a female. And when you say he, uh -huh. Taylor, when it comes to translation, cuando lo traduzcamos to our language that is Spanish, we are going to know that it will be a sastre because that is uh -huh. our language. But in English, it is, there's no a difference between them. That's like without a gender. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. So, um, here we have uh, another ones like a baker, un panadero, a farmer, a, what is that? Granero, farmer, fireman. Yes. Uh, that will be like, um, bombero, fisherman. Bombero. Fisherman, that will be pesca. A gardener, como jardinero. jardinero. The same ones we already saw here, dresser, a journalist. A journalist, it will be on a, how do we say that? Periodista, exactly, periodista. And uh, a lawyer, a judge, un juez, un abogado, lawyer. In English, we can call. We have two ways. Tenemos dos formas de decir eh, albañil. We can say this one that we here, brick lawyer, or we can simply say a mason. And that's the same meaning. Why? They are synonyms. Ellos son synonyms. They are synonyms, and we can say that in both ways or two, the same two words, and the meaning is still the same. Ambas palabras tienen el mismo significado, pero son sinónimos. Cuando nos refiramos a esto, a estas ocupaciones y, y trabajos, eh, siempre hay que anteponer la... What we just saw. What we just saw. A and that will help us depending of if it is a consonant or if it is a vowel. See? That's why, es por eso que seguimos una secuencia, so you can understand how are you going to be using the, the topics. As you can see, como ya vimos A and N, sometimes, algunas veces, no va a ser necesario poner A or N, sino que some, when it comes to the plural. For example, if I said, they are some bakers, or I just can say they are bakers. Ellos son panaderos. They are bakers. Or I can say they are some bakers. But in that case, if I add the word some, it will change just a little bit when it comes to translation. All right. So. Okay. There are some questions or there's a question that we do. Hay una pregunta que hacemos when we want to know someone's profession. Cuando queremos saber la profesión de alguien o qué es lo que hace. 
The question that we are always going to do is the following. We are going to say, what does he do? Si es tercera persona, ya saben, ya vimos el presente, vea questions. Ya saben que tercera persona, we use the auxiliary does. And when it comes to I do with they, what is the auxiliary that we use? Do. 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 Very good. So if I ask you as an example, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? Muchas veces eh, cuando traducimos esta pregunta, tendemos a tomarlo de la forma errónea, porque lo, lo traducimos a nuestro idioma, to our language. But in English, when someone asks you this question, she or he doesn't necessarily want to know. No necesariamente va a querer saber qué es lo que estás haciendo tú, la acción. No. Esta pregunta se va a utilizar para qué es lo que haces en este caso, pero refiriéndose a tu profesión o ocupación. Not necessarily to tell the action or what you are doing. Es diferente si yo te pregunto, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? That is something different. But when we are learning English, some students tend to forget. Algunos estudiantes tienden a olvidar these rules. So they get confused. Because I have had some students and I ask them like, what, what do you do? And when you translate that in your mind, you said, oh, he's asking me, ¿qué es lo que hago? And you said, I am watching TV, but that's not, that's not, uh, that's not something that you have to answer when someone asks you that question. So please keep that in mind for the next time. So you do, you do not get confused on that, okay? So keep that in mind. And remember that this is the question that you are going to ask when you want to know something about what a person do or the job or the occupation that he or she has in this, uh, in this country. So we have here, what does he do? And the answer, he's a doctor. What does she do? She's a vet. What does your father do? Oh, he is a teacher. What does your mother do? She is a chef. Okay, so any questions so far, guys? No. Is it clear? Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. If it is clear, here we have just another example. You can clearly understand what I was saying. Uh, what does she do? Okay, she's an artist. That's the answer that you're going to say, or that's the type of answer that you will need to give when someone asks you that question, okay? So let's go to the practice. If there's no question, let me ask you one more time. Is there any question or something that you would like to know or that you would like me to explain you one more time? If there's no questions at all, I'm going to move on to the exercises part. No questions. Sería, aquí sería ponerle la Occupation. profesión. Jobs, yes. So there's no questions, no questions at all. Sería hacer la oración, por ejemplo, he's a musician. You can, you can do it. He's, he or she is a musician. You can do it in that way, or you can simply say a musician. Okay. All right. So questions. No questions? No. And the right. profession no. in the first, uh, maybe violinist. 
no sé, violinista, ¿cómo se dice? Violinist, you can say that, but esa es como la ocupación o, o lo que hace la persona specifically. But when it comes to, uh, to the profession or to the job that he or she does, let me see. Let me try to put this right here. So it will be like musician, like this. Okay, thank you. So, uh, musician, musician se aplicaría tanto a las personas que usan violín, piano, o algún exactly, instrumento. exactly. Like that will be like the generals. If I say musician, that will be someone who plays a guitar, someone who plays a piano, someone who plays the violin, someone who plays any type of instruments, like in general. Okay, it's a musician. Okay. But if you want to say violinista, violinist. If you want to say pianista, mm -hmm. pianist, and so on. Okay. All okay. right. So please take a photo or take uh, an, a screenshot because this is just the first one. We have three exercises for today. Let me know when you re you ready did it. Yes. Cool. So let me yes. go to the next one. Let me know when it's done. Ordenar la palabra. Exactly. On a scramble, ordenar las letras to find the jobs para encontrar la palabra o encontrar el trabajo profession. Desenredarlas. So is it done? Done. Cool. And here is the last one. Done? Done. Cool. Yes. So let me stop sharing the screen. And uh, now we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Guys, once again, if you are able to speak in English with your classmates, try to do it in English. I want to congratulate people that it at least is trying to do it. Quiero felicitar a las personas que cuando voy a chequear su grupo, veo que al menos están tratando de practicar. I know that probably you don't know like that much vocabulary to express yourself in completely in English, right? But at least if you practice or at least you try to do it, that will help you to, to lose the fear. Porque veces tenemos miedo, right? So just try to do it. Try to do it. And that's the best way we can practice. Because outside of this class, fuera de esta clase, or in El Salvador, nobody speaks English. Or when you go to the market, that someone speak English to you. No, right? When you go to get tortillas, does someone speak English to you? No, right? So this is the only time that you can practice your English. So take advantage of that because in the outside of El Salvador or outside of your house or even in your own house, nobody speaks English to you, only Spanish. So take advantage of that. This is just an advice, guy. So es un consejo. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to, it's up to you. Okay. All right. So let's go now.
Hello, Rosa. Are you having problems connecting to the group? Hello? Sí, a mí me parece más fotógrafa. Ajá. Pero no sé cómo se escribe en inglés. The same way that we say photo, photograph. 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 The spell, the spell, and the photograph. What do you say? The spell photographer. Photographer, it will be P H O T O P H. H. Thank you. Hello. Okay. The next, next exercise. exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, you're the one. The scam. <laughs> Las cinco creo que es mechanic, mecánico. Mecánico, mecánico, perdón. Uh -huh. Mechanic. Ah, uh, no, no. Mechanic. La tres creo que es Gardener, ¿verdad? Que no sé si se pronuncia. Gardenero. Ajá. Sí. ¿O no? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. 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 ¿Cómo? Fisherman. Ah, sí, sí. Fisherman. Fisherman. The ones. Sería terminaría en man. Según mi punto de vista. Stopman. ¿Cómo? What? Stopman. What's me? Como, como de los que dice, de los que ponen anuncios en la calle, no sé, Stopman. Uh, la tres como quedó tres la... como quedó la tres espera eh, Val... no er... <risa> no sé no sé cómo quedó la tres compañero no, no, no. Creo que todas las estaba traduciendo. Yeah. <ríe> es... Ay, no, no sé. <ríe> eh... 
N Quiero ver si es esto. Sí. Ah, sí, es Gardener. Ya la vamos a encontrar. Who is the guy who is the guy who catch criminal? Who is the detective? Policeman. Policeman. What do you say in Spanish? Who catch? Atrapar. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es el que...? Atrápalos. Ah, mm -hmm. es a uh, polis. Well, okay, guys, I think that most of you completed the exercises. So let me see. Let me go ahead and go to the first part. That is going to be this part. So I will need, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there were four groups. El grupo que trabajó con Hazel is going to help me with this part, con exercise number one. So go ahead, you decide who is going to be first.
de algo, pero bueno, ya no se ve ninguna, ¿cómo se llama? Ninguna araña o zombie, nada por ahí. A musician. A musician, yes. Number two. A policeman. A policeman. Three. Fireman. Fireman. Mm -hmm. um, what do you mean? El grupo de Hazel. Fisherman. Fisherman, okay. A pilot. A pilot. A bet. Bet. A soldier. Soldier. Uh, football player. Football player. Good. A nurse. Nurse. A photographer. Ah, photographer. Okay. Very good. On this one, I will need the help of uh, Mario's group. Okay. El, the first, no, no. I'm, I don't, no pudimos hacerlo. No le encontré, no lo no, no supimos. Postman. First one, he was postman. Oh, okay. Postman. So, okay. The second is nurse. Nurse. El tree gardener. Gardener. Four teacher. Teacher, teacher okay. Five, make, make. Mechanic. Oh, mechanic. mechanic. Mechanic, yes. And sheriff man. Sheriff man. Fisherman. Fisherman. Uh, Fisherman. Fisherman. Okay, very good. <laughs> so let me see. Um, bueno, ahí le <laughs> Bueno. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so let me see the. Uh, Lisset Castillo um, group. Uh, mechanic. Mm -hmm. A taxi driver. A police. Policeman. A baker. Baker. A reporter. A writer. A reporter. Yes. El de newspaper es un reporter. Uh, Journalist. 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 Okay, and the last one? A uh, writer. A novelist. It, it could be a writer or a novelist. Okay. Okay, very good, guys. So it is now eight with six minutes. So for today, this is the end of the class. Thank you so much for attending to the class this week and we will see you until Monday. There's no class tomorrow, okay? So see you on Monday. I hope you have a great weekend and enjoy your weekend. Please, if you have time, try to work on the platform. So see you on Monday and have a great night. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.